Hello, Uncle Agro here, back with another tutorial. This time we'll be looking at how to optimize your model in Blender. We're going to be looking at how to get the uh, polygon count down. Oh, well, we're going to try and aim for an excellent rating, which is under 32,000. And the number you should be looking at is down here. It's called faces in Blender. So we're already at 32,347, but I think we can get that down by half at least. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to edit mode. And as we can see, most of our model is made out of triangles. Now, what's to say we can turn these triangles into rectangles or quads as they're called. And there is actually a pretty easy way to do that. It doesn't work for everything, but I think we can still optimize most of this. As you can see, it's all pretty much made out of triangles. And the easiest way to do that is with your whole model uh, merged into a single mesh while still in edit mode. We're going to toggle X-ray so we can select everything. And I like to use the select box. You can use the circle select tool if you feel like it. But we're going to select our entire model. And we're just going to go to face, triangles to quads, or alt J. And that's it. That is pretty much it. Now, if we look at the model, we can see that all those triangles, well, most of those triangles, got converted into rectangles. And if we go back to object mode and back to the faces, we can see that it went from 32,000 all the way down to 19,000. So that's already pretty damn good. That's the first step you should go. Now you can do that same step with each part of your model separately. If that doesn't work with the whole mesh, you can separate it by materials and do the same thing for each part separately. Now, the next thing you probably noticed is that I still have my body mesh underneath my clothes. And for most things, that's you don't need that. Unless you plan on adding like toggles to your clothes, show off the body, then this next step doesn't work. But for everybody else, we can just get rid of pretty much all of this and the feet inside the shoes. Now to do that, we're just going to go back to, well, first we're going to select our body mesh, then we're going to go back to edit mode, make sure X-ray is on again so we can see what we're working with here. And we are just going to select all this that we don't need, and we're just going to delete it. So I'm using the circle uh, selection tool. I'm holding down shift. Oh, you don't have to hold down shift, but you can to select more. And we're just going to select all of this. Doesn't matter if you're not, uh, if you don't do it perfectly the first try, you can always come back and select more of it. Now with our triangles separated into um, Watts, this should make it a little bit easier. You get a nice clean selection going on. Except up here, this might be a bit of an issue, but it doesn't doesn't really matter. <clears throat> there we go, and then we're gonna select the feet. Now with the uh, extra parts of your body mesh selected, you could just hit delete and delete by verticals. But most of the time that deletes a little bit more than what you actually selected. So to get around that, with everything selected, you're going to hit P and separate by selection. So the top one. And what that does, it's a, it creates a separate mesh from your selection. And now we can just go back to object mode select that uh, new mesh that we just created and we're just going to hit delete and there you go you're left with whatever arch you um, 
didn't select. Actually, in this case, we can delete the underwear as well. And if you're left with some straggling parts that you uh, didn't get to select, you can just go back to your um, body mesh, go to edit mode, and you can just select those and hit delete. And now we're all, we're down to 16,000, 17,000 polygons. Now that is already pretty damn good. We're all already uh, well below the excellent rating of uh, VR chat, but I think we can still go a little bit lower. Now the next steps aren't really necessary and they can break parts of your model, so use them with caution. Um, we're gonna use the decimate tool. Now CATS has a built-in decimation tool, um, but I have never gotten this to work properly. And we can see if we can get this to work, but um, it probably won't. So the decimation tool in CATS yeah, you have some presets here. You got the quest, which is 5,000 polygons. The excellent is 32,000 and good is 70,000. So you should, you should try to get your model down to at least 70,000, if not lower. But you can also add a custom number to this. We're at 16. So let's try, why not? Let's try 10,000. 10, 10,000 triangles or polygons in this case smart decimation we're gonna click save fingers and then we're just gonna hit quick decimation this probably won't work yeah no that that absolutely destroys the model so that's why i like to manually uh decimate the meshes let's start with the hoodie so with your meshes separated Select whatever part you want to decimate. Go to modifier properties, the wrench icon, add modifier, and under generate, you'll find decimate. And this thing should pop up. Now this tells you that the polygon count of the hoodie for me is 4,957. <clears throat> and by using this little blue bar here, we can pretty much turn that all the way down to zero if we want to. Now, I'll try to get that down to 4,000, maybe. If you go too far on this, you'll start to see that the seams on your mesh will start to break. Now, there is a way to fix that, but uh, now I would try to find the sweet spot between what looks good and still having your mesh somewhat intact. So that's around, well, that's actually pretty good. That's not too bad. Everything still looks nice. Let's go a little bit further so I can show you how to fix those seams. Now, once you're happy with it, you just hit apply. And there you go. Another thing that really you could use some decimation is the hair. Hair and accessories and clothes are usually pretty bad once it comes to uh, poly count. Add modifier, decimate, and oh my, we're already down to a thousand, so to speak. Maybe we can get that down to, down to 400. That still looks pretty acceptable to me. That looks pretty good. And hit apply. Now let's see where we're at. We're at 13,000, so that's pretty great. Now let me show you how to fix those seams. Well, we're gonna select our hoodie and we're gonna go back to edit mode. Uh, uh, we're gonna use the poly build tool down here. And we're gonna select vertices. So you can uh, select these individually. And under Tool and Options, we're going to select Auto Merge. And what this does is when you're moving these around, you can basically just move them on top of each other. And that should automatically merge them. But that's how you 
can fix some of those seams. Now, the last thing we can do is, this is basically a continuation on the uh, turning triangles into uh, quads. We can try and unsubdivide to get rid of even more uh, unnecessary polygons. So let's try that with whatever's left of the body. We're going to go back to edit mode. We're going to select our legs here. And <clears throat> I think we can still get rid of some of these, although it still looks pretty good. The knees might be a problem, but we'll see. With everything selected, did you want to unsubdivide? We're going to go to edge and unsubdivide. Now that gets rid of a lot of that stuff. We did get some some seam breakage here, but again, we can just fix that using the poly build tool. There we go. Our knee looks somewhat acceptable. So those are some tips on how to get your um, polygon count down. Now, if you want to get into the nitty and gritty of avatar optimization, I suggest you look up Rainhead's tutorial series here on YouTube. She goes into a lot of in depth about how to do red topology on your avatar. And uh, yeah, I'll link that down in the description. Now that we have our model as optimized as we want, we can go ahead and move on to the export. And there's one last thing that you should do before exporting, and that is uh, combining or atlasing your materials. And to do that, we're going to open up CATS, go down to optimization, and this is where our atlasing happens. So we can go ahead and click, click uh, generate materials list. Now, I usually try and rename all my materials a little bit better, but um, over here we can see these two are the hair, we got the face, the body, the eyes, and the clothes. Now, the amount of materials you should aim for is four or less. But if you're uh, going to upload for Quest, I suggest you just uh, atlas everything into a single material. But in this case, we're just going to go for the uh, four. So I'm going to select the face and the body. And we're going to hit Save Atlas 2. We're going to find a folder where we want to save our stuff and just hit Create Atlas. And as we can see, that creates a single material out of the face and the body. Now we're going to do the same thing for the hair and the clothes. And there we go. We're already down to four materials. Don't worry if your uh, mesh gets all shiny. That doesn't carry over to Unity. And that's it. That's all I have for you today. Um, I hope that helped. I really don't want to see any more unoptimized avatars after this. Um, if you found that helpful, feel free to uh, like and subscribe. I have a Patreon that you can join. I stream on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter for updates. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye. Uh,